I'm going to show you three ways to change up what this looks like. The first one is going to be changing the initial speed. And the second one is changing how fast it is slowing down. And third, we're going to be switching up the wheel from wheel 1 to wheel 2. So let's try the first one. So, so let me show you what I mean. So if we go back to Visual Studio. Okay, so for example, we could change the initial rotational speed to 50. You could also change this number here, which affects the speed by which the wheel slows down. So the other thing you can do is change up the wheel from wheel 1 to wheel 2. So I'm just going to drag and drop wheel 2 right over here. And in order to size it exactly like wheel 1 and also to make it so that it's in the same position, what I want to do is go to hierarchy, click on wheel 1, go to inspector window and under transform, click on this little cog here and click copy component. I'm going to copy that and paste the component values onto wheel 2. Make sure that you're now clicking on wheel 2 and paste. And you'll notice that the wheel 2 is now perfectly hidden underneath wheel 1. In order to make wheel 2 shown, I'm just going to input a value of negative 1 here. And save. And now when I click on play, and click, you'll notice that it's not moving. The reason why wheel 2 is not moving is because it does not have a script. Wheel 1, on the other hand, does. So this is a very easy, easy fix. I just need to apply the wheel controller script onto wheel 2, save, and let's try that again. All right, now it's working. Great, you've done it. You've created your first spinner on Unity. I hope you enjoyed how to make a spinner in Unity, and we'll see you next time. If you like this series, make sure you click on the like button and subscribe to our newsletter on our website for more updates like this. Until next time, see ya! Bye!